Hello and welcome to my video about dragon's blood trees, one of the most fascinating and unique species of trees on our planet. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the rich history and captivating facts about these trees that have been an object of fascination for nature lovers, scientists, and explorers for centuries. The dragon's blood tree, or Dracaena cinnabari, has a fascinating history that dates back thousands of years. These trees are native to the Socotra archipelago, located off the coast of Yemen in the Indian Ocean, and have been an important part of the island's culture and economy for centuries. The red sap of the dragon's blood tree, known as dragon's blood, has been used for a variety of purposes throughout history. The ancient Greeks and Romans used it in medicine and for embalming, and it was also used as a dye and a varnish. In ancient times, the Socotra archipelago was an important stopover for merchants and traders traveling along the ancient trade routes between the Mediterranean and the Indian Ocean. Dragon's blood was a valuable commodity, and it was traded extensively throughout the region. In addition to its commercial value, the dragon's blood tree has also played an important role in the cultural and religious traditions of the people of Socotra. The tree is considered sacred by the island's indigenous population and is used in a variety of rituals and ceremonies. It is also an important part of the island's folklore, with stories and legends about the tree and its unique properties passed down from generation to generation. Despite its cultural and economic significance, the dragon's blood tree is now a threatened species. The Socotra Archipelago has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and efforts are underway to protect the unique flora and fauna of the region. Conservation measures include the establishment of protected areas and the implementation of sustainable land use practices. Here are some interesting facts about dragon's blood trees. Appearance Dragon's blood trees have a unique appearance with a thick, sturdy trunk that branches out into a dense crown of leaves that resembles an umbrella. These trees can grow up to 30 feet tall, and their leaves are sword-shaped and grow up to 2 feet long. Endemic Species Dragon's blood trees are endemic to the Socotra Archipelago, meaning they are found nowhere else in the world. The archipelago is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and its unique flora and fauna have evolved in isolation for millions of years, resulting in a high level of endemism. Dragon's Blood Resin The tree's red sap, known as dragon's blood, has been used for a variety of purposes, including medicine, dyes, and varnishes. It was highly prized in ancient times, and even mentioned in the Bible. Today, it is still used in traditional medicine and has been found to have antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. Slow Growing Dragon's blood trees are slow growing and can take up to 30 years to reach maturity. They also have a long lifespan and can live up to 650 years. Drought Resistant Dragon's blood trees are adapted to the arid climate of Socotra and can survive in extremely harsh conditions. They have deep roots that can tap into underground water sources and a thick, waxy coating on their leaves to prevent water loss. Threatened Species Despite their resilience, dragon's blood trees are threatened by habitat loss, grazing by livestock, and the impact of climate change. The Socotra Archipelago has been listed as a biodiversity hotspot, and conservation efforts are underway to protect the unique flora and fauna of the region. The dragon's blood tree is a remarkable plant that has captured the imaginations of people for centuries. With its unique appearance, slow growth, and cultural and economic significance, it serves as a reminder of the importance of protecting and preserving the natural world. As we face the challenges of climate change and habitat loss, it is more important than ever to appreciate and conserve the biodiversity of our planet. If you found this video to be informative or valuable, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you will be able to stay up to date with all of the latest content that I create, which will be similar in nature to this video. I greatly appreciate your support and look forward to providing you with even more engaging content in the future. 